Now, if you've ever been scared of making a souffle because you have to put that mixture into a ramekin and hope for it to rise and not flop, I'm gonna give you today an alternative that you are gonna love. We're gonna make a sweet souffle mixture, so pastry cream, fold with the egg white, and instead of putting this into a ramekin, and that everybody dreads, we're gonna cook this mixture inside a crepe. So we're gonna make a souffle crepe. The good thing with this, you don't have to worry about anything because you just fill the crepe, put the souffle, put it in the oven, let it balloon up a little bit, and the dessert is ready. To make it a bit better, I've got some apple from the garden and some calvados for some flavors. So the name of the dessert is gonna be souffle crepes with caramelized apple. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> So if you spend your time being really paranoid about making a souffle, really it is not worth it because a souffle is the simplest thing there is. This is the sweet version of the souffle and you know what it is? It's a batter that you make with two components. That's it. Number one, a pastry cream. This is a vanilla pastry cream, that's what it looks like, that is mixed with number two here, egg whites that are beaten into a meringue. That's it. You've done a souffle. Okay, two things, that's not complicated. Once you've got that mixture, the standard thing to do is to put this into ramekin and cook it, but you can cook it in a different way, like here, when the mixture is done, you're gonna put it in a crepe, you're gonna fold your crepe, put this in the oven, let it, you know, cook, and that's it. Now we're gonna make it a bit fancy today by adding some calvados and some car caramelized apple, but you don't have to. So just to show you how simple it can be, and once you've got the mixture, it's up to you. If you want to use spare, you can use spare. If you want to use another liqueur, you can. And you know, there's, there's really no limit. It's really just a matter of uh, creativity. Now, for this video, I'm not gonna show you all the step-by-step -step on making the cream and the mixture, etc., etc., because we've done that on the Grand Manier Soufflé. So link in the video description and on the screen. You can use the same process, the same measurement, and change the alcohol. Uh, instead of Grand Marnier, use Calvados, and instead of biscuit into the batter, we're gonna put the apples. So let's concentrate on making the apples and making the crepe, okay? Let's go. And now for the caramelized apple, pan, butter, and we're gonna cook the apples in there. That's what it is, caramelized. So I'm using two styles here. I've got some little quarters, and that I'm gonna use for the decoration, and this is gonna be for the souffle mixture. Yeah? So medium to high heat, 20, 30 grams of butter, something like this, and give it a little bit of coloration. After two or three minutes, I've got some coloring, and I'm gonna add some sugar. You know, it's ironic, but I ran out of uh, normal sugar, so I've got to <laughs> Usually it's a tablespoon of uh, white sugar. I'm using uh, icing sugar instead, because I only have that, okay. Sugar is in. I'm gonna mix everything gently, it's all right. And then, of course, what we're gonna do, high heat. You know, the typical flambe. So I'm putting my exhaust uh, fan off. I don't know if it's gonna work like this. I'm gonna wait for the temperature to rise a little bit. And I don't have a light on either. It's terrible today. Anyway, a bit of a flambe. Up. It's gonna reside, don't worry. The house is not on fire. And that's it, leave it to caramelize. After that, you reduce the heat to very low, and you're gonna leave this to cook. Two, you know, for one or two minutes, and you get a nice coloring. It's buttery, it's flavored. You get a bit of sugar, and with the calvados, it enhances the apple flavor, which is great. So after two minutes, you're just going to turn the heat off and keep this on the side. So now that we've got the apples, the other element we're missing is the egg white. So I'm going to put all my egg whites in there, a bit of salt, and then some sugar, like the other video. Okay, and we're going to beat this into a meringue. And here we are, so as I said, element number one, we've got the pastry cream, we've got some egg whites, we've got the apples, and to add the, the finishing touch, a little bit of calvados for the flavoring, and this is the extra uh, egg yolk that we put in the cream. So now, let's assemble. So let's go through the assembly again. So you start, I'm just doing a little bit. Huh? You start with the pastry cream, it has to be kind of a little bit uh, hotter. So I'm gonna put the egg yolk with a little bit of calvados in there. And this is to kind of make your whole cream into a more kind of creamy consistency. You can use a whisk. I like to use a spatula first and then eventually a whisk, but you can use a spatula. It will transform into a cream eventually. Don't worry. So once you're done, uh, you've got your mixture, cream mixture. We're gonna add some of the apples. Maybe I'm not gonna put everything. So caramelized apple into 
the pastry cream, same thing here, you mix together. And this is very much a home cooking thing, eh? okay? So you see the, 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 the jig here, you've got the flavors and everything like this, and then you're gonna choose, okay? You're gonna put, oops, sorry, you're gonna put some egg whites and you're gonna fold them in. So the more egg whites, the more fluffy your mix becomes, the less egg whites, the more dense and kind of pastry creamy is gonna be when you eat it. So it's up to you to choose, okay? And you're gonna fold, and you start from the middle, bring everything in, and you know the typical technique, but that's it, keep on going. So when you're about here, and you can kind of clean the sides, up everywhere, and you got something like this. So this is the result. You got pieces of apple, you got the cream, it's nice and fluffy, and that's it. You've got your souffle mixture, and we're gonna put this into a crepe. Now when you're done, the filling, very simple. You're gonna get a crepe, you can warm it up. I use the microwave and these are two days old uh, kind of crepe. I've got the good sides on here. I'm putting this on the, on the baking sheet with a, a piece of parchment paper and my oven is preheated at 200 degrees uh, Celsius. Great thing here, you don't have to bother about having a ramekin. Usually, one spoon is enough, but <laughs> I like to do this experiment when I'm going over overboard. So I'm going to put quite a lot uh, in there. So I hope, let's see how it's going to go like this. Do you think we could put more? Oh, you know what? I know this is going to balloon up and I'm going to have trouble, but I'm just... I hate when you make a crepe and you're going to think, oh, I wish there was a bit more feeling. Nah, not this time, people. This is going to be filled up. So you see, look, it's like a, a kind of a little omelette and you don't have to use a ramekin. So here we are and if you're curious, so am I. So let's put this in the oven and we're gonna wait six or seven minutes until it kind of balloons up, see what happens. Now two minutes before the end, you have to take some uh, sugar and kind of uh, icing sugar and sprinkle on, on top like this and then another one or two minutes. Oh, I was just out of the oven. I'm not too sure the intention of the sugar, but this is boiling hot. I'm gonna serve that's a lot of feeding with the oven, is it? Right, so here we are. So I didn't have too much time to uh, decorate. I just chucked this on the plate. So the whole idea usually, I'll put a few, you know, of this caramelized apple here and there. I usually can sprinkle some of there, but it's just because I've made just a, a tiny sample. What I really want here, I just want to try it out. I, I don't know. I know. So usually you would have like so caramelized juices, butter. You can do an extra flambé, but I think, you know what, for us, we're just going to try. So that is a crepe soufflé. Okay. And what I can say already is that the crepe is pretty, it's pretty crispy. It's transformed into some kind of a, a biscuity like thing. Inside. You got a lot of souffle mixture, still hot. And I'm not too sure how to approach this. <laughs> how do you actually eat this? Um, yeah, I don't want to take it with my hand because that's gonna be an absolute mess. But I may have to. So what I'm gonna do, I see that little part here? I'm just gonna grab that with my hand like a mini crepe. Look, and it's filled. It's like a omelet. Mmm. No, it's very light, huh? Oh, it's interesting. It's like a, a souffle sandwich. That's what it feels like. So you got the, you know, you got the, the crispiness of the crepe. I think you need a bit of um, a bit more apple. The crispiness of the crepe, and inside the fluffiness. And airiness of the souffle. So this part here, I'm going to discard it because it's not really making anything justice. I'm going to keep it on the side. But all in all, this is what you're getting. So you got your crepe, you don't have the ramekin. And it is an interesting dessert. I think for me, I would add maybe a little extra little sauce, a little flambe on top to make it even better. But honestly, it works well. And it is really puffed up, so success. Now, what a blast from the past. That texture with the airiness, it's hard to describe, but the crispiness of the crepe and the souffle mixture that you can really customize to your liking, it is such a great thing. So if you're scared of making souffle, have a go at that recipe because it is really good and it can really impress a lot of guests. I would add a little flambe at the end for the, for the show, but that's it. <laughs>
for the video. Anyway, I will see you next week for another French cooking video. If you want to follow us, don't forget, you've got Facebook, you've got Instagram, you can share your picture, hashtag French Cook Academy. And if you want to support us, thanks to everyone on Patreon and people enrolling to our culinary school, which is much appreciated. I'll see you all next week. Take care all. Bye-bye. Thank you.